Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how you can root your nook color. So I have my nook color right here. And uh, the reason why you're seeing me in this welcome screen is because uh, I wasn't able to reason. But yeah. Uh, so I basically rooted and, you know, tested. And uh, after that, I uh, restored to the nook color operating system. And uh, then... You know, I wasn't able to, you know, go through the setup. I don't know. I, I, I have no idea what the problem. But, yeah. So, this is the new color. And I'm going to root it right now. So, all you, got, all you need is a Windows page machine. So, I'm here at Windows and my Mac Mini. Dual booted with Boot Camp. And uh, you also do need an SD card. Uh, about, I mean, micro SD card. About 1 gigabyte. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, all, once you have connected your SD card to your computer, uh, it should show up on your computer, my computer right there. And uh, I, you also do need to download some files. It's all from this website. I'll put a link down below in the description so you can uh, check it. So I have downloaded all. I have gone ahead and downloaded all those files. So as you can see, I have a folder called Nook Root right there. Uh, so I have all the files right there. You do need. Uh, Win32 Disk Manager, uh, it would be a uh, zip file but you do need to extract it. So I have gone ahead and extracted it right there and uh, you need this 1 gigabyte clockwork 3.2.0.1 eyeballer uh, disk image file. Uh, it is also there in that uh, link that I give you down below in the description. You also do need this G apps, you know. Um, you know this file zip file and uh, update cm 7.1.0 and core sign file as well so let's go ahead and get started so so go ahead and open up uh, win32 disk manager so let it open up click yes so there you see a window pop up right there uh, so um, check which is the you know your SD card. Uh, my SD card is in the I drive. So go ahead and go there. Select I. Um, so go ahead and click on this folder button. And get to new root. Select the one gigabyte uh, clockwork eyeballer file. Go ahead and hit save. Hit write. And uh, go ahead and hit yes. So it'll begin the process. So, you know, typically takes about a minute and uh, I will get back to you once this is done. All right, guys. So once you have written your uh, image file to your micro SD card, uh, basically go ahead and close the program, Win32 Disk Manager, and uh, go ahead and open up your, um, you know, SD card. So you should see a couple of files right there. And uh, open up uh, your, you know, Nook root folder or my Nook root folder. And uh, here you can see I have two uh, zip files right there. This is also there in the description right below in the link. So go ahead and copy and uh, paste it right over to the um, SD card. So this should take quite a while. So, all right. So after you copy the files. Go ahead and take off your SD card from your computer. So I got it outside right here. And uh, head back over to your Nook. So, so. Alright, so here we, are, here we have my Nook right here. And I got my SD card. Let's see. So as you can see, it's a 16 gigabyte SD card. So go ahead and uh, shut down your Nook. I've already done that. So, and after you do that, go ahead and turn over your Nook. Open up the SD card slot. Take your SD card and insert it in the card slot. Of course, you have inserted SD card. Flip your new cover and power it on. So you should see this loading screen. As you can see. It's loading right there. All right, so after it's been loaded up, uh, you should get to this, you know, clockwork mode recovery, you know, um, menu. There you go. You can see that. 
So basically your uh, volume up and down button uh, will be used as minus for go down and plus for go up. And uh, your power button for back and your end button uh, on your nook for uh, selecting. So scroll down and get to inst in install zip from SD card. Click on the end button and go ahead and go down and click choose from SD card and select update CM 7.1 click that go down get to S click the end button and then it installs the update all right so once you've installed you know CM 7.1 update go ahead and go again to choose zip from SD card hit the end button and go to the G apps GB uh, the, the zip file click the end button yet again and go down right there hit yes and uh, that should also start install all right so after you've done that after you've installed the uh, you know zip file the G app zip file hit the power button so that you can go back do that again 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 so or just you know go go back hit that and once you get to this menu go down to wipe um data or um factory reset hit the end button go now hit yes and uh, that should also uh, that should start you know wiping data and uh, start formatting the data all right guys so after you formatted the data you know on your new color uh, you gotta reboot your system so go ahead and click that reboot system now you know thing and it will restart your device so so as you can see uh, right at the back you can see I'm booting into Android right here with the uh, cyanogen, cyanogen mod so as you can see we are you know, basically booting into android we'll let it load so as you can see you know it's in the boot screen Alright, so as you can see, I'm here on uh, Chase Book on Gen Color. Go ahead and tap on that Android. And uh, you got to sign in with your Google account. So uh, you do need a Google account, or I'll just go ahead. If you don't have one, go ahead and create it. You know, so I'm going to sign in. So, alright, so I'm signing in here. Alright, so after you've done that, uh, you know, setup, uh, putting in your Gmail ID, Wi-Fi setting, etc., etc., uh, you should get to your Android home screen. So it's 2.3 Gingerbread. Uh, so if you head over to Settings, scroll down over to About Phone, you should see 2.3.7. So you're basically running uh, Android Gingerbread. So yeah, guys, you can go ahead and head over to the uh, you know, Android Market, download uh, your favorite games and applications and run um you know all that on your nook color with you know full power of android so yeah guys that's it with this video thanks for watching rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you all later